Hello, good afternoon, and thanks for joining me on business. Some parts of Accra witnessed a slowdown in business activities on Boxing Day holiday. A visit to the Oxford Street at Osu, as well as some other parts of the city, saw the absence of the normal brisk activity. The reason was obvious. People were cooling off and perhaps hanging out with friends and relatives on Boxing Day. Joy Business reporter Kuku Apia has been combing around town and files this report. The streets are virtually empty and most shops were closed with the exception of a few small shops. The holidays are here and businesses seem to be on break. Some boutiques and fireworks vendors were also opened for business, perhaps to exhaust their stock before the year finally comes to a close. However, the usual traffic that characterizes the Oxford Street had slowed down. We then moved to Accra, Newtown, and here the story was the same. My current location is Accra, Newtown, which is usually noted for being one of the busiest parts of the city. But today it seems that traffic has slowed down. Also, business is not as brisk as it usually is. We've spoken to some residents and business people here, and they have expressed some disappointment in the way business has gone this year. And also some of them have said that they're spending their day with their families, which is why business has seemed to slow down here. We've also been to some parts of the city as well. We've been to Osu and Accra Central. We've also been to the airport area to see exactly how business is flowing and traffic is flowing as well. This is Kukwa Apia reporting for Joy Business. Meanwhile, despite a ban on the sale and use of some firecrackers in the country, the business has been enjoying great patronage in previous years. However, some dealers Joy Business interacted with along the Osu Oxford Street, however, it indicated that the level of sales this year was rather low. Amelie Josu has more. One significant practice the Yule Tide comes along with is the use of firecrackers. Many buyers can't do without the firing of these products. As to them, these signify the presence of the season as well as to usher out the year. As a result, dealers increase prices just to cash in on the situation. Despite the ban of some firecrackers, the business has not been too bad over the years. However, during an interaction with some of these traders along the popular Osu Oxford Street, they disclosed the business has experienced a downturn this year. The traders who refused to speak on tape indicated that, aside the wholesalers who were cashing in on the business, retailers of their kind haven't made much sales. They were still hopeful the trend will change by New Year's Eve, as well as prior to the handing over ceremony to inaugurate the incoming president. The firecrackers on display range from as low as 20 Ghana cities to 2,500 Ghana cities for a pack. And away from business on the holiday, three banks have emerged the best places to, se to secure credit, according to the Bank of Ghana. Bank of Baroda, GCB Bank and Fidelity Bank jointly came up tops in the annual percentage rates released by the central bank. There's more in this report. The annual percentage rate, APR, is based on interest charged on loans and credit advances as at November 30 ending. It showed that GCB and Bank of Baroda offered businesses in manufacturing, commerce and agriculture at an APR of between 22 to 28 percent, as well as those seeking loans for other credits. This is the actual rate you will pay on your loan when you turn to the Bank of Baroda. GCB also gave firms in this sector an APR of between 21 to 31 percent. Fidelity Bank stood out as the best when it comes to consumer credit. According to the Bank of Ghana, on the average, businesses and individuals are paying between 33 to 34 percent as interest on loans. The bank maintains that it hopes to use the regular publication of these rates to drive down interest rates. And that's all in business for now. Many thanks for your attention. My name is Emmanuel Abwaji Yafi. There's more ahead. Don't go away.